Mathematics 3. Measure of mass. Objective. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to measure mass in grams and kilograms. Aling Lita, a fruit vendor, has many costumers because she always gives the exact weight of any product she sells. She uses a weighing scale to measure the mass of the products. Kilograms and grams are units of measurement for mass. Gram is used to measure the weight of light objects. Kilogram is used to measure the weight of heavier objects. Aling Lita checks the weight of each item by reading the weighing scale. Four pieces of apples weigh 600 grams. A papaya weighs 2 kilograms and 700 grams. A bunch of grapes weighs 1 kilogram or simply 1 kilo. 1 kilo is equal to 1000 grams. The shorter way of writing gram is g, while the kilogram is kg. Here are more examples. Again, 1 kilogram is equivalent to 1000 grams. 5 kilograms is equal to 5000 grams. And 10 kilograms is equal to 10000 grams. We can change kilograms into grams. For example, the total mass is 1 kilogram and 500 grams. 1 kilogram 500 grams is equal to 1,500 grams. When combined, it is 1,500 grams. The total mass is 2 kilogram 400 grams. 2 kilograms 400 grams is equal to 2 times 1000 grams plus 400 grams. Therefore, the answer is 2400 grams. We can also change grams into kilograms. For example, 1800 grams is equal to 1000 grams and 800 grams, which is equal to 1 kilogram 800 grams. Another example 3010 grams is equal to 3000 grams and 10 grams, which is equal to 3 kilograms 10 grams. Practice exercises. How many grams are there in 1 kilogram and 50 grams? Let's us first convert kilogram to gram in 1 kilogram. Thus, we have 1000 grams. 1000 grams plus 50 grams is equal to 1050 grams. How many kilograms are there in 1750 grams? Solution 1750 grams is equal to 1000 grams and 750 grams, which is equivalent to 1 kilogram and 750 grams. Therefore the answer is 1 kilogram 750 grams. Fill in the blanks. 
Answer. Kilograms and grams. Fill in the blanks. Answer. Kilograms and grams. Very good.